did a little internet research to find out what else was going on. Uh, December 13th, 2012, FCC, FCC, whoa, as a punk rocker, we're not huge fans of the FCC, but they say the TV commercials cannot be louder than the TV show. Okay, cannot be louder than the TV show. That was, boom, handed down by the FCC. There's uh, somebody talking about something. Looks important. Federal, oh, it's the FCC. It's probably the head of the FCC saying, no more loud commercials. What do they mean by the commercial may not be louder than the TV show? <laughs> Absolutely, but I, I agree. Well, actually, I don't agree. I, I agree with you. And I think that's all we can test in here is statistical significance to see if it's statistically significantly louder than the TV show. The problem is the public might not agree that a statistical significant difference is meaningful. Now, the public, they ask the public. Here's, 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 a, here's a, some great questioning. TV viewers can report super loud commercials to the FCC. Have you been blasted by an excessively loud TV commercial in the last six months? Yes, and they could stop. No, the law seems to be working. Remember your first project, and we talked about how to ask questions the wrong way, and how to, how, to, how to ask leading questions to guarantee a certain answer? This is a perfect example of that. Blasted. Super loud. Where's the definition of super loud? Sarah, Sarah triples because that's the problem, right? What? It doesn't exist. There is no definition of super loud. If somebody has very sensitive hearing, my son, for example, I, I'm always taken aback by what he finds to be loud. I turn my guitar amp on, and the hum, he's like, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. I'm like, oh my God. Then I realize I've got 40 years of punk rock drumming behind me. I'm ruined. My hearing is pretty good, but nowhere near as sensitive as his is. But that's a problem with definition, right? So you can't measure that. Good, good. There. Look at this. Does this surprise you? Do these results surprise you based on this wording in this poll? Number one, self-selected. Who's going to this site to check on super loud TV commercials? People that are pissed about them. You're not going to go there if you're like, oh, it's great. No, your law is awesome. Of course not. It's an outlier. It's 5%, for God's sake. Right? There's your type 1 error. From so the point, in fact, is, is that I don't trust anything. Lawmakers, oh, great. Get them involved. <laughs> Guaranteed to make sure nothing happens. So here's, here's the problem. Let's test it ourselves. Because we can trust ourselves because we actually have good, if you will, statistical significance tools at our tools. That's our, that's our job. So I gave you some data. Let's play. And I want to replicate the data myself. I don't have a DB meter. I wish I did. Of course, man, don't. So i got to use the data I've got. Anybody have a good line on a, on a decibel meter that I could borrow? Should I have on your phone? How? I, my friends have brought those to my shows, and they're wildly different in what they're reporting. I'm worried about consistency. I'm not so much worried about accuracy, but I'm definitely about precision with those things. Jackson? They will be fairly consistent, but yes. they may not be the same as other meters. Yeah. Oh, oh so each one is in, each one's precise for itself. Yes. One's right, then, then, then they may have an accuracy problem. Yes. So which one's the most accurate? So you'll know if it's so not Yes, but which one's right? That's the problem. If one says 112, one says 114, and one says 120, which I failed to believe my band hit 120. That's a, that's a plane taking off at like 20 feet away. Just use one. I mean, we are pretty loud. Just use one. Just use one meter to check. Yeah, but the problem with that is, which is the right meter, is the right meter to use? But you're just wondering if the TV commercials are louder than the TV yes. shows. Really you don't need to know how loud yeah. But if the sound intensity changes the accuracy of the meter, the, pro the problem is they're, they're logarithmic in scale. Okay. Uh, one up in, remember, it's called, it's called a decibel. Okay. That's 10 times more intense. So it could be, and I, I like what you're saying, it doesn't matter if they're accurate as long as you're measuring the change. And Deanne actually hit the point of the change of what we need. We don't actually need accuracy as long as the instrument is uniformly inaccurate. We don't need to have accuracy. Precision is actually more important, and you'll see why momentarily. You'll see why momentarily. But the problem is if the actual sound intensity makes changes the level of accuracy. I don't know the answer to that. But I'm not really into it that you guys mentioned. So anyway, let's mute this. Let's play. Can I get some lights, if you don't mind? Let's play with this. Thank you guys for that. That's good. I hadn't thought about that. And, and I, I, I attributed Jackson that it was, just, it, was in, it was imprecision in the meters. They were all hitting pretty much the same thing, but imprecise. If they're, if they're inaccurate and very precise, I'm happier with that, as long as I can track down the one that's the best. So we're going to go with that one. So TV, let's, let's start. Let's stop again. Keep your, 